So first of all, I know that you were a logic guy, a logic audio guy, the digital audio workstation on Mac. Uh -huh. But then you, at some point, you changed over to Ableton Live. Can you talk about that transition? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> first of all, hello, everybody. Thank you for having me, Glenn. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. So I was on Logic for like years. I, I think I was primarily a Logic 9 user. And even before that, I, I did a lot of Pro Tools. And, and I think I first started using Cubase when I was in high school. So I was kind of like, this had a lot of different, you know, exposure. But the main thing about Logic that I was using was, you know, that was when I was really into like just recording, you know, live recording sessions and like getting all the stems and all that and like kind of mixing them, how pretty much using Logic like you would use Pro Tools, right? In, in that kind of way. Right. And the reason why I switched to Ableton was actually I was in France, so I went to this program called Mix with the Masters. Oh yeah. And and so I went to the one with Young Guru, who was the Jay Z's, you know, mixing engineer for years. And we were there like there's about ten of us from around the world just, you know, for a week. We were just kind of studying with this guy. And you know, his it turns out that he is the one that got everyone from Just Blaze to Pharrell to all these guys to switch from Pro Tools to Logic. Um, this is back in the day when it was kind of like popping off and then and then his whole mission during that seminar was to get us to move from logic into ableton um and so he kind of really just gave us ins and outs of you know why ableton's important and like what's so great about it and when i what really caught my attention was the time warping feature um how you can so easily manipulate the the pitch mess with the transients all internal to the program itself and it's just like super fluid and it takes a lot of other plugins and a lot of different like you know you have to go through a lot of different loopholes on logic and pro tools and all the other things in order to do it that fluidly and so ableton for me that's kind of what won me over because then i was like wow like i could take literally what i do with bass or guitar or whatnot and completely create new sounds yeah. with the raw audio and not have to use any additional effects on top of that until I want to. Mm. And, and and there was other like, you know, basic things like anytime you cut and paste like, you know, audio stems in or samples or whatnot, it automatically crossfades everything. It just, it's just, to me, there's such an ease of use with it that I felt like it was awesome. Like, and now I like legitimately only use Ableton. Um, the only time I still use logic is when i go to other studios so i still you know when i'm working with other people i can use it on and then learn how to produce with it and all that but yeah mm -hmm. i prefer ableton so it depends what your point of entry is so it, it like if you are someone that's 100 your main concern is drum programming i would actually say fl studio is the way to go um, I think the ease and the creativity and how quickly you can make rhythms using sounds and plugging them in and like manipulating the panning, like affecting all of that stuff in real time, like FL Studio 100% way better than the, any of the other programs. When it, and, and on top of that, it gives you that 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 modern flair and, and feel that you want that, that's at least marketable right now. Um, so I would say FL Studio is the way to go for that. Um, the reason, if you're more of a, like a musician, like not a musician, if you're more of like a traditional instrumentalist first, so like playing guitar, keys and all the other things, I would say it's probably, to me, I love Ableton or Logic, just because it was the, the, the way you're able to manipulate and process those like, you know, raw sounds. Um, to me, I feel like you have a little bit more like leeway and ease and fluidity when it comes to messing with those sounds. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's like, you should just try as many as you can because you're going to have to learn how to, the more you know how to use, the more um, fluid you are in a studio setting with all kinds of people anyways.